our third Mercury retrograde for the year has arrived today. And this time, the swift messenger is doing his backpedaling in one of his own signs, Virgo. This is an Earth sign, and Mercury is an air planet. What happens when we mix Earth and air? We get dust storms, and this clouds over our vision and our senses. Mercury retrogrades always inspire us to look back and give us an opportunity to go back over situations and thoughts, especially in this case with Virgo, because the sign of Virgo really wants us to pull apart and analyze things. So have you already been finding that you're looking back at what has occurred over the last few months? Have you been feeling old relationships resurge? They can wash up just like shells on a shore during a Mercury retrograde. Now, Mercury can be seen as representing the lower mind. If you think of thought and the mind as a building with different stories and Jupiter, the higher mind, the saving grace in this Mercury retrograde is that he will be making contact with Jupiter three times. He already did this on August 9th. So go back in your calendar or the diary that you keep or even your dream journal and have a look at what was going on on August 9th, especially if you logged a dream either on the 8th or the 9th, because the opposite sign of Virgo is Pisces and Pisces rules the dream realm and the 12th house, whereas Virgo rules the sixth house, the everyday and our hygiene. Now, when I say hygiene, it's not just about washing your body, but it's what you're taking in, especially through your mouth and what you're eating, but also in your environment. What has been going on in these last few weeks as far as your habits with media that you're consuming in TV, books, music? Has your taste changed at all? The next time that Mercury makes contact with Jupiter is going to be on September 4th and then a third time on September 25th. These are going to be key points. And again, I encourage you to keep Dream Journal and keep a watch on these dates. This is going to give you some really interesting information. Jupiter is the higher mind. We can also see that Mercury is the way we learn things in little bites of information. The first steps in learning a new technique or taking a new course. A lot of people have just gone back to school or started a new pursuit in a new form of education. Maybe it's at a higher level and this is Jupiter. We're not out of the woods yet for Mercury retrogrades. We're going to have one more this year and it begins on December 13th and goes all the way through January 1st. What a way to begin a new year. It does inspire us to have those resolutions that we talk about, but my encouragement to you is start figuring it out right now and set those new habits in motion. As a matter of fact, if you want my help with this, why not have a coaching session? We can look at exactly where Mercury is retrograding and affecting your chart. You see, it's one thing to say a big chunked up idea like Mercury's retrograding, but let's look even more closely at it. He's retrograding in the sign of Virgo beginning at 21 degrees and 47 minutes. Every four Earth minutes equals one space degree. I know there's some math involved there. So he'll begin at 2147 and he'll retrograde back to eight degrees. So if you've got points in your chart that are Virgo 8 degrees to 21 or almost 22 degrees or any other planets that are directly aspecting at angles, particularly the squares, conjuncts, and oppositions to those points, 
then we need to talk about it. I always say life is how you plan it. Keep looking up. The stars are here to guide us, and I'm your navigator, your expert astrologer. <laughs>